and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this series we're making Snake in Unity. In this video we're going to create a game over window. Let's begin. Okay, so this is our game. We currently have the snake moving around, and if we eat some food, you can see that the snake grows. And if the body is big enough, I can hit the snake body and the snake dies. Right now, that just makes the game stop. But in the previous video, we had the loader, and we have our nice debug button in here. So we can click it to test game loading. So I click it and there you go, it reloads the game scene and everything is back to start. Now all we need is a proper game over window that shows up when we die and run the same code that is on this button. So let's build our window in our canvas. So let's make a new game object. This will be our game over window. Now inside let's make a button. So an empty game object for the container for the button. This will be the retry button. Inside, let's first make an image for the background and a text field. Okay, so here is our very nice, very simple retry button. So in order to capture button clicks, let's add the button UI component. This is a class from the CodeMonk Utilities. It has a bunch of features for UI buttons, so it's very useful. For example, let's make the button background change on mouse over. So in here, I can very simply do this. Again, you don't have to use the utilities. You can use the basic Unity buttons, but this one already helps me make a very nice button. Okay, so now that we have the editor all set up, let's deal with the code. So for that, let's make new C-sharp script to handle our window. So a new, and let's call it our game over window. Now here on awake, let's grab a reference to our button. So we grab the button UI component, and now in here we can set the click func, which is the function that is triggered whenever we click on the button. And now what we want to do when we click the button is the same thing we were doing on our testing button. So we can go into the game handler. And let's go down here. Here's where we were making our testing button. So this is all we need in order to load our current game scene. All right, so let's test and see if the button is visible and if it's working the same as previously. Okay, so there's the button. It's nice and visible. If I pass the mouse over, it changes color, which is nice. And now if I click on it, yep, there you go. It loaded the loading scene and then immediately our game scene and everything resets. So I can go down here, eat that. Now I have 100 and a body size of one. And I hit retry and there you go. Everything is back to normal. Okay, so far so good. Our button is being visible and it is working exactly as we want. However, obviously, since this is a game over window, we want the window to only show when the snake dies. So let's make some show and hide functions. Let's start off by making a private void show. And in order to show, let's simply do a game object that's set active to true. When we disable our game object, everything is hidden. When we enable, everything is shown. So let's do the opposite for the private void hide. And now on awake, let's call our hide since by default our game over window should be hidden. Now we need some way of showing this window, so let's use a static function. Now in order to access our show function, we need to know the instance. So let's store a private static instance. And on our show static, we can now call the instance.show. All right, so that's it. This is a very simple class. We have a nice public static function that we can call whenever we want to show the window. So now we need to figure out where we're going to call this. So let's go into the game handler. In here, we got something to get the score and add score. And let's also have a function that will be called when the snake dies. And in here, all we do is go into the game over window and show our game over window. So now again, the same thing. We need to trigger this function from somewhere. So for that, let's go into the snake and see where we have our snake being set to dead. And there it is. We got a nice testing pop-up. We can now hide that. And when it dies, let's call the game handler dot snake died. Okay, so that should be working. So now we have our snake. When our snake dies, it changes its state. So it stops moving and we call the game handler dot snake died. Then the game handler deals with telling the UI to show our game over window and our game over window has a retry button so we can try again. So let's run the game and see. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, the button is not visible exactly as we want it to. So let's grow, eat a bunch of food. So there's that one down there. Okay. 
So our snake is big enough to die, so let's wrap around and die, and yep, there you go. The snake is dead, the window popped up, and we now have our nice retry button. So now I can click the retry button, and there you go, it loaded the loading window, and now it's back into the main window, and I can try again to beat my score. So there you have it, we created a proper game over window that pops up when the snake dies and contains a button so we can easily retry in order to try again. In the next video we're going to create the main menu. As always you can download the project files and utilities from mintcodemonkey.com. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.